Is this wait wait is this is this Charlie? Wait, is this Charlie? Wait a second, is this Charlie? Wait, isn't this Charlie's account? Oh my, is Charlie streaming? Wait, th this is Charlie. Is, Charlie's not streaming, is he? This is this is one hundred percent Charlie. Oh my God! So Charlie's offline. Ah! <laughs> Charlie doesn't realize I bet he has no idea this is me. Yeah, there's no way. There's no way Charlie. Oh my God! This is so classic. <laughs> oh my God! This is so classic. Oh my God. <laughs> Oh my god, this is this is legendary. Let's go 97. Oh my god, this is so funny. I know you know what? I'm not gonna tell him. I'm gonna I'm gonna let I'm gonna let like you guys here in chat. I'm gonna let one of you guys tell him later. This is too funny. This is just literally too funny. There's no way he knows this is me though. How can he know this is me? Let's see if we can find the check and come back into the game, though. I'm, I'm not going to just, like... Okay, he misses a golden opportunity there. Um, let's go here. Yeah, he had queen e6 check to uh, hit the king and the bishop. Just take. <laughs> I'll, I'll let you guys tell him. I mean, when he streams later, chat's going to be like, Yo, did you realize you were playing offline? Like... <laughs> oh, my God. That's just too funny. He's actually finding some good moves, though. Joking aside, he's, he's finding some pretty good moves here. Um, obviously, position's really bad objectively, but it's it's not it's not that bad. He's played pretty well. I want to see if he can spot the battery. I'm gonna try to check me in with a battery. I think he'll see it, but I just want to see if he spots it, because this is a big threat here. Mm, okay, let's take. Funny thing is, if I move the knight, actually, is a check on e6. So. I'm gonna check first to hold the square and then I can move my knight wherever. Let's go, um, let's just go here. Let's just be safe. He's playing well though. He is playing well. I, I, in general, he is one of the clear favorites, by the way, to be clear. He is one of the clear favorites in PogChamps 3, without a doubt. Let's go here. I mean, he's he's doing very well. He's gonna, he's gonna lose, but he, I am very happy with how well he is defended. Yeah, this is this is moist critical, you guys. Um, that's a good move. That's not a bad move. Let's go check. Okay, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna tickle him. See if he spots it. Cause he should go back. Okay, he spotted it. Good, very good. Let's go here. He has he had rook g1 and it's still very unclear but now i think after check and i take it should just be winning for me because all the squares are covered no 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 queen six no queen seven oops 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 okay that that's uh, that's really funny that's just really funny i don't know there's something i mean i mean xqc probably isn't playing by right now but can you imagine if i accidentally like played xqc as well that'd be really funny Ah, actually, he's only playing 10 minutes. Okay, so yeah, yeah. By the way, Charlie, actually, now that I think about this, is 3-0. Charlie played pretty well there. For a 3-0 game, he, he did very well. For a 3-0 game, yeah. Yeah, very good stuff. Uh, let's just go here and hit the pawn. Ah, uh, Daniels hit Charlie over the head with time management. Okay, I mean, I understand that, yeah. No, I thought he, he did very well, though. That was that was pretty well done. The moves were pretty pretty good. I mean, obviously, he made some serious blunders, but overall, time use was good. The moves were good. And against a lesser player, I mean, like someone around his own rating, he probably has a real chance to win there, even though... Um, even 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 though he was down, down, down material. Let's go check.
Let's just take. Uh, let's just go here. Maybe Queen G4, maybe Knight B5. Thank you to Obarbi for the Prime Shop again. Thank you No Yes for 12. And Michikov's V for the uh, two months. Thank you so much. <laughs> Chuck. Thank you to Obarbi for the gifted sub. Thank you so much. That's just too funny, though, playing Charlie. He had a better accuracy than me. <laughs> I think I actually there were a couple moves that I played that were not not actually that that good, but yeah, pretty funny. All right, you guys, I'm gonna take a short break. Go use the restroom, and I'll be right back. Give me one second. Yeah, 33,333 people watching. Big shout out to everybody who's watching. Okay, this guy's from Scotland, so I'm gonna play the Dutch defense. Actually, I don't know what. Are, are the Dutch not, um, are the Dutch and Scots, were they like historically supporting each other or not? I don't remember. Just take with the juicer. I have some stacked pawns, but I also have a nice connect three. Let's go, uh, let's go G6. I should have played the French. That's right. The Scots and the French were always united against, uh, against England. Yeah, wrong, wrong group. They don't beef, I don't think. Okay, he goes e4. I think I just take. Um, let's just take. My king is a little bit misplaced here. Let's go here, but I can play rook e8 to hit the queen. It's a good move too. Um, I think. Take. Yeah, I'm gonna go king b8. Oh, it goes rookie six. That's a good try, but I can go here and cover the square now. He's just losing. Once I let me update the score, because I'm gonna win this game, so let me mark it. Um, yeah. All right, now we just eat the queen. And go back. And now just queen d8. Yeah, he just wanted his queen. What to do? Let's go here. I think this will be... I had my numbers wrong. I think this will actually be... Let me make sure. Yeah, this is going to be... Um, wait, how many wins is this? Okay, yeah. Th sorry, I marked two. Whatever. It's okay. Um, this will be 51, not 52. But anyway, it's all good. Let's just take the pawn. I'm not going to mark 10 because if I do, um, I could get confused at some point. Let's just take. Let's go rook d8. Let's go check. Move the king. Move the rook. This is really, really good. I can even try to. I can even try to battery him with the diagonal. I'm trying to battery him. Okay, he spots. So let's go here and then let's ice skater him instead on the back rank. Tata still chess one. I think today was a rest day in the tournament, if I'm not mistaken. Um, okay, let's keep going. Okay, let's go for some kind of... I have not played the English opening, uh, but again... Let's 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 play the advanced French defense here. You, this is like a connect four pawn chain. We'll see how good this guy's. I really don't like the French at a beginner level. I think it's a very dangerous opening to play. I think there are a lot of traps. Like what I'm playing right now, the the jingle bear or sorry the uh, the Milner bear gambit here, um, for example, which is one of many different different ideas that that can lead to problems for Black. Okay, <laughs> okay. let's go here. <laughs> 
Uh, so you can't have a two pawns if you play rookie one. <laughs> and, okay, I don't even know why I said jingle. Yeah, yeah. Sorry. Okay, let's take the juicer because now he can't recapture. What am I eating? I'm eating a chopped up banana. See, this is banana. I want to go here and um, ice him with the night chuck. Yeah, banana squares, exactly. Yep, just eating some banana squares. Oh, thank you, Bakshi, for the two. Gildor for the two. Lucky Luke Strikes for the 20. Thank you, Biggest Chungus, for the two. Philly Philly Chess for the two months. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Um, love your stream. Been learning a lot for too many arrows. Thank you, Philly Philly Chess. Thank you, King Pui, for the prime. Samurai for the prime. Gian Control for the prime. Pearson for the prime. And Atomic Muffin for the prime. Thank you so much. Let's go here. Let's fork the king and the rook. Bishop holds, holds the knight. Okay, goes king e7. Um, I'm going to go rook c1. And I'm going to go rook c1 into some kind of fossil here on the queen. There's some kind of fossil that must be winning. What hair wax do I use? I've told you guys before, I don't use any hair wax. I'm a very simple person. Um, Bishop d6, queen d6 is no good. Uh, no, I don't use hair wax. I just go, wake up, take a shower, use my Paul Mitchell, you know, uh, for, Formula One, I think is what it's called, or original formula. That's all I use. No, Nothing special. No need to waste 200 bucks on haircuts or, or product or whatever, whatever, whatever else. Just keep it simple. I assume that was just a mouse slip. Speed running goal is three, 3,000. Oh, did I say Formula One? Oh my God, did I, did I say Formula One? Let's go see four, let's play the English. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay. Too much Netflix? Yeah, exactly. My opponent's trying to use his knife, but I just kicked the knife back. Yeah, I'm okay. He's he's in a he's in a gambity mode. He is Italian. Italians like their gambits. They've liked them since the 1600s. Let's go here. No no checkmate. I'm probably gonna scoot the king and play knight f3. Let's go here. Hit the queen and the bishop. Fork them and I'll take the bishop next move. That's an interesting idea. I mean, it's it's a thought. That's actually an interesting thought. That's something for like a 24-hour stream or something to think about. Let's go here. I got to develop my pieces quickly. He does have a five, but I just take and go knight e2. Even queen f3 looks fine, but I'm just going to play knight e2, rook f1, knight c3. Thank you. Twenty-four hour stream, maybe to a million follows, and we're getting crazy close to nine hundred already. It's insane. But thank you again to everybody. Even if you can't sub to the channel, make sure to hit that follow button. Um, make sure to hit the follow button. You'll get notified when we're going live, what's going on um, with the channel. So make sure to hit that. I keep saying hit. Make sure to click that. Sorry. Um, yeah. Go here. <laughs> Thank you to Black Mirror for the two. Okanyango Terrace for the prime and ONMN with the prime. Thank you so much. Let's go here. My opponent lacks development. His king. Look at all these pieces. One, two, three, four, five, six. There's got to be a mate here. Let's go here. It's got to be a force check, man. I mean, look at all these threats. Everything is so open here. Thank you to Haggis McGee for the 10 gifted. Thank you so much. Uh,. Good check. I think it's just for checkmate. He's got no squares. It's 
let's keep going we're playing now we're starting to play the 10,000 players so let's play uh let's play more of the Clive Owen defense b6 bishop b7 let's go here maybe knight f6 go d6 knight d7 oh so oh did I, uh, I said 10,000 I meant the 1,000 sorry <laughs> okay um yeah that was actually a free pawn I could have just taken it but anyway we keep going I might even castle queen side here very strange and now I castrol so I put pressure on the this this file a lot of pressure from the bishop and the knight too Okay, it goes e5 um i'm gonna have fun here i'm gonna go king b8 not even necessary but i'm gonna play it i could have played here let's go for a smother checkmate here oh now we get the patented ice skater Fifty. We need to get fifty-eight points uh, in the next um, next forty-eight minutes in order to uh, in order to complete the uh, bet and get over one thousand. So everybody who bet on me to get to one thousand um, will is probably going to win here. Thank you, man. Appreciate it. Thank you for the fifteen dollars. Oh my, oh, oh, oh my God, oh, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God for the fifteen dollars. Thank you so much, this castle. Okay, let's take the juicer. We're gonna take on e four here. What is NORAD? NORAD, of course, is North American Defense Aeronautical Space. Uh, it, they, they basically watch over the airspace in the United States. They have for the last like I don't know, like 60, 70 years. Let's go check again. This is why you got to be careful when you push this up pawn early because now you're going to lose. Oops. Update the score. Sure, I'll just auto mark it. I'll, I'll, I'll auto, auto mark it to, uh, to 60. Why not? Because we assume we'll win 60. Let's go here. Play rookie 8. Whoa, thank you to Mamba forever for the 99 gifted subs. Thank you so much to Mamba forever. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Thank you. Just go here. Thank you so much, Mamba. Hope you're doing well. Thank you so much. Uh, let's just go shock and then take and then take and then take and then checkmate. I think this works. Let's see if it works. Hmm. He dodged it, but he still gets mated. Okay, let's play Scandinavian defense. Is XQC playing Scandinavian, you guys? Because since I haven't been watching, um, I haven't, he's usually streaming or playing chess late at night when I'm asleep or I'm not not on Twitch. Um, what is he playing for his openings these days? Maybe. Thank you, Aspersion, for the Prime. Thank you to uh, Zeri FF for the uh, Prime. Thank you to People Easter for the Prime and Rurik Lurder with the Prime. Jason Michael for three bucks, maybe. No, I mean it's black, you guys, not as white. That's black. Oh, shit. Okay, anyway, okay. <laughs> Let's keep going. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, my banana fell on the floor. I can't eat it. I uh, five second. I thought about the five second rule, but it fell on the floor. I can't eat it. It it, it, 
it's too nasty. That's just too nasty. I mean, normally I normally I do go with the five second rule, but I mean, it's just too it's too nasty. It's too nasty. I, I mean, I can't I can't do it. Eat it like a man. Okay, there's there are no hairs on it. There's nothing on it. Fun. Let's go keep me in here. Bro, that was that was on the ground. Who cares, you guys? Who cares? It was on the ground. Big deal. I actually need to be careful here. It's kind of messy. Let's go 94. Let's go here. Thank you to Troy Heat for the Prime, Master Cows for the Prime, Nash with the Prime, Eviction Knight with the Prime, Flink Fuss Twitch with the Prime. Thank you to Zoak Live with the Prime. Thank you to Von Doom for the two months. Thank you to Jason Michael for the $3. Thank you to Ramosaur for the $10. Let's go back. Hey, Purple, for the five months, it was Ziggy Boom for the tier one. What was the question? Oh, thank you, Ramsar, for the 10. Jason Mike for the three bucks again. Um, what do I do here? I think I'm going to go here. Okay, if I go here... This looks right. E7, I just take, take, take. Should be winning with the three, with the two, two pieces for the rook, but not, not, not easy actually. Okay, let's go here. <clears throat> let's go here, hit the pawn. Let's eat the juicer. One, two, three, four, five, six. Thank you for three bucks. Uh, Van, the Van Cruz opening. I don't know what that is. I'm going to go for the uh, ice skater again with Rook D1. H4 is a great move, by the way. This guy, I think, is actually like significantly underrated. He's very dangerous. Let's go here. I'm gonna run the juicer down the board. Oh, nice. Thank you to Budley Buckets for the prime thing. So much appreciate it. Thank you to Red Baron Rules for the four months. Thank you to Eva Bill Shot for the 300 bits. Thank you so much. What is the Van Kruitz opening? I actually don't know. Let's keep going. 40 points in, in 40 minutes. So I think I'm gonna to get to 1,000. Keep going. Um, let's play more King's Gambit Vienna systems. Let's go here. Thank you to Ushki for the four months. Oh man. Oh my dear. Let's go for the throbbing checkmate. Oh, he sees it. What a shame. I think I just drop back, play d4, e5, maybe castle. It's all very, very good. <clears throat> just castle, maybe d4, e5. Of course he's well i mean i i'm being fairly sarcastic i mean if he didn't spot it and he's 1000 i'd be shocked thank you for the four months zero means appreciate it Let's 
just eat the juicer. Oh, I could have played queen up. Oh wait, no, he just takes. Never mind. Okay. So you went back to 2000s camera quality? No, I'm using um, I'm using my camera, but this is part of the overlay uh, to have the slanted camera. Can you please coin out the throbbing checkmate? Yeah, I mean, I, I do wonder when the books are written on chess um, after COVID's over down the road and we're all old, what 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 will the terminology will be? But I think for sure, yeah, why not? I mean, Charlie's one of the most influential um, uh, streamers for, for the game of chess. And I don't even mean that in a joking way. He is. He's been very important to the whole boom as well. So, um, so yeah, why not? Okay, now I go check and mate. Let's go e4. Oh, uh, let's play. Um, let's play the bot Vinic Panov. This is a very old system developed in the 1940s and 1950s by Mikhail Botvinnik, Botvinnik, the former world champion from Russia, or the Soviet Union at the time. Problem with his setup is he didn't push e6, so now I can, I can move the knight out of the center. Very similar to e4 openings where you can remove the knight here. It's very dangerous. Let's go here and take. Because I'm also threatening to take and take if he eats the juicer. And if he eats this one, I eat this one. He still has problems on the diagonal. Okay, let's just keep putting maximum pressure on these diagonals. Can you play some bogus opening at this level? Yes, but there's going to come a point where I can't do it. I would say around 2,500 probably when I can't get away with stuff. Okay, the problem for my opponent is he's going to lose his queen here. Let's just checkmate, I think. Okay, let's play g6, bishop g7 here. We'll play a modern defense this time. Okay, um... Let's just play the classic uh, modern setup. I think classic mangoes. Thank you to baby brother. Thank you to Erex for the four and zero memes again for the four. Okay, that's a very bad move because now he can't castle. He, he just lost one move or one tempo by doing this. Oh, uh, let's just go for it. I don't even know if this is right, but it looks reasonable. Let's go here. It's a very good position for me. My opponents waste a lot of tempos here. This is like if someone puts on NPR at the same time as it hits music station, it's very pog. Oh, thank you. That's pretty funny, yeah. No, I mean, XUC is incredible. He's really improved a lot. So, big fan of XUC. He's doing doing great things for chess. Uh, always grateful for all that he's done. Just take and take the rook here. Let's just eat the juicer. Knight c2 and knight e3 is good here. Maybe just a5. Maybe just rook c8 and rook c1 at some point. I mean, I have a very good position here. Let's go here. I, I'm just going to double stack the rooks, basically. XUC could win. He could win Pog Champs 3. He literally could. He's 1,200. He's improving a lot. I think there. I don't think it's outside the realm of possibility. 
I mean, it's really going to depend how, how well he keeps his nerves in check when when he's in the situation and like being live on stream. Like, how, how is he going to is he going to be able to control himself? That's what it comes down to. It's just nerves. Um, 1200. Okay, so books to read at the in okay, this check me. Books to read at the intermediate level. Um I really feel like again, like I was saying earlier, I think books like The Art Attack by Vukovic or How to Think Like a Grand Master by Kotov, those are a couple books that I'd probably recommend. You could also read something um more advanced like Boris Gelfon's books on his best games or get best games or something like Corch Noise Life, things like this. Um so yeah. Something along these lines, yeah. Also, things like the book my stepfather wrote, "Best Lessons of a Chess Coach," is very good for um, for learning some some basic basic thought process thought uh, some of the basic thought processes. Sorry. Um, thank you, Ju Peko. Thank you so much. I think in some ways, yes, I think it is. I think um, what happened with this pandemic is that basically, you know, for for better or worse, chess has been a game that kind of been stuck in the past a lot in many ways. I felt and. Um, and I, I feel like what it's done is it's really forced chess to move into the new new age, new era. And so, yeah, I think I think it is a golden golden time for chess. Thank you, thank you to Haran Zolo for the prime as well. Thank you, Pika Boost for the three hundred bits as well. Thank you so much. Oh, he's gonna get double fork. This is very sad. I'm gonna play the Black Mardemer Gambit. Let's do something different. Let's do the, the Black Mardemer Gambit. Very um, very aggressive setup. You try to develop fast. It's not necessarily good, but it's very aggressive. As we already saw earlier today, Knight gets trapped on the on the ledge. Uh, no, we have 61 wins, actually. I just checked. Let's go Queen B1, hit the juicer. I move out of the pin, too. There's no pin anymore. I mean, I feel like I'm doing well, but... Well, first I can just eat the juicer because of the pin. I mean, so I fossilize him, and that's just GG's. Let's keep going. Okay, this this will get us to 1,000. So we're, we're, we're only 2,000 points away now after this. Oh, big shout out to Mr. Jerome Witten, who is playing from uh, South Africa. Great country. I, I went there a couple years back. Um, I hope that I can go back there again sometime in the future after all this is over with. So big shout out to everybody who's watching from South Africa. I'm going to go for the Greek gift. Let's go for the Greek gift. So thank you for that. Uh, th thank you for the 10 bucks, 3 bucks, Rock Man. Let's go for the Greek gift here. We go for a checkmate. Um, and we gambit a bishop, but the attack is super strong here. And now we go here, threaten checkmate. He moves the rook, he loses the juicer. If he takes, I take with the pawn, and I, I destroy him on the H file then. Okay, so this will be 62. Let me adjust it, by the way. I'm threatening checkmate on two squares. Now I go here, the cactus thorn, and he can't stop mate in one next move.
do you get perma for smurfing well we're doing this on an authorized account um but in general i i don't think you can get perma ban but yeah it, it can be pretty bad there's no way out though he just can't the cactus thorn holds the square so it's just forced checkmate why does it show 32 losses because we had to get the k factor set correctly for the rating so rating has to be 500 and it has to be where the k factor is set so that you don't gain like 20 20 or 30 points for every single win that's the reason Yeah, stalling reporting yeah maybe <laughs> I mean all they have to do is look though to see that's all they have to really do okay resigns <laughs> 